Hey, what's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to Get Here with the Truth. So today we're doing the number. Uh, we're doing the 2023 year end or top tens. I'm sorry, I'm used to calling them the year end top tens. As we look at my number nine super bantamweight in the world right now at 122 pounds, the undefeated contender Liam Davies of the United Kingdom. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. And again, guys, I apologize for my voice. I'm a little bit sick this week, um, so voice is kind of gone, but I really want to keep getting these uh, videos out there to you so you know what's going on and to get my uh, top tens rolling. So, all that being said, back to Liam Davies, the undefeated British contender. So, <clears throat> Davies drops actually four spots from number five last year. Um, the division is better in terms of how deep it is um, in, in 2023 as opposed to at the end of 2022. So, that's majority of the reason that Davies dropped. But also, Davies entered the year coming off of a big win over Ian Upaluda, who is a very solid contender. And... Um, he just didn't really do much in 2023. He uh, he took on a little-known guy named Jason Cunningham and stopped him in one round at the end of July. And then uh, in November, he returned and took on some guy named uh, Vincenzo La Femina and scored a fifth-round TK over him. And that was his year, 2-0, and two knockouts, but he didn't really fight anybody worth the note. And... Um, I was a little disappointed by that because he also took like eight or nine months off in between fights. Um, and no, I didn't look in to see if it was, if it had to do with injury or not. I just know he didn't fight. And I think with the addition of other fighters and him not really uh, capitalizing on the victory over Ian Upaluda, that dropped him. Um, but Davies is still a serious contender in my opinion because he didn't just beat Baluda, he, he cleanly beat Baluda. A convincing unanimous decision in 2022 and um, he needs to finally capitalize that here in 2024 as um, you know he's uh, number he's number five in the WBC and he's number seven in the IBF now the WBC already has a mandatory challenger in Luis Neri so I don't see Davies getting a crack at the undisputed title this year but I do think he can move himself up. And guys that he might be able to test himself against are Raiz Salim. Um, you know, there's uh, Sam Goodman and Mirajan Ak Ahmed Aliyev are mandatory challengers already. So that would be tough. But I think Marlon Tapolis, who's coming off the loss to Inoue, and then um, Azat Havanasian are good opponents for him to try to test himself against in the top 10 to potentially in 2025 challenge for a world title because for Davies I could see him making himself a mandatory challenger by the end of the year and in 2025 if, if anyway uh, sees you know him as a threat he could fight him or anyway might vacate his world titles and then Davies could be competing for a vacant belt so Davies is only 27, he's still young, and I think this needs to be a year, though, where he steps up the competition, But because he, he kind of stepped down the competition following the victory over Ian Upaluda in 2022. So Davies, this needs to be a bounce back year, and he needs to fight a top 10 guy. We'll see what happens, though. That's it. That's what I got. That's my 2023 top 10s, and it's my number nine super bantamweight in the world right now at 122 pounds, the undefeated British contender, Liam Davies. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.